Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, a docking station that turns your iPad into a recording studio. Let's get started. This is the IS202 iStudio from Behringer, a docking station that provides all the connections you need for recording with your iPad. Now the way this works is you slide your iPad in, there's actually an insert in there so you can use this with an iPad 1, an iPad 2, or a third generation iPad. On the front panels, you have the controls that you need when you're making your recordings or playing music, and around the back is where we have all our connections. Starting from the right side of the back panel, we have two microphone and line inputs. Now those are combi jacks, so you can plug either an XLR cable or a quarter inch cable into those. Those connections can also be switched to high impedance, so you can run a guitar into those. Next to the mic line inputs, we have a stereo aux input. Now this can accept either a line level signal from something like a keyboard, or you could run a turntable into this, and it does have a grounding screw for use with turntables. Next up, we have a stereo connection for monitors, so you could use that to drive either powered monitors or monitors that are running through an amplifier. Then we have two connections for controllers. One is for a foot switch and one is for an expression pedal. Now those would be used when you're playing a MIDI synth inside your iPad. The iStudio features MIDI input and output jacks, so you can connect an external device such as a keyboard, a guitar controller, a drum controller, and use that device to drive a virtual instrument running inside your iPad. The iStudio also has a USB port for connecting up to your computer if you want to integrate your iPad along with what's running inside your Macintosh or your PC. And we have a video out that sends a composite signal that you could route to a television. On the front panel, we have all the controls we need for operating the iStudio. We've got input gain controls at the upper left. We've got an aux level control for when you're sending a signal into that stereo line input. Then we've got a monitor control. Now what this does is balance what's coming into the inputs with what's coming out of the iPad. This lets you set up latency-free monitoring when you're overdubbing. Finally, we have a main volume control that controls the two monitor outputs so you can set the level of your speakers. And then we have a headphone volume control, and there is a headphone jack on the front panel of the iStudio. We have three switches on the front panel of the iStudio. One turns on phantom power for the two microphone inputs. The second one sets those microphone inputs to high impedance so you could run a guitar or a bass in for recording or for driving a virtual guitar amp emulator. And then we have an aux switch for turning the aux input on and off. The iStudio is compatible with pretty much any app that produces audio or works via MIDI. You simply slide your iPad in, boot up your app, and you'll be working right away. You can use it with GarageBand, I tried it with Cubasis, I tried it with a wide range of virtual instruments. Even metronomes will send their signals out of the iStudio and into your speakers. If you want to record or make music on the go, the iStudio will operate off batteries, but it does come with a power supply. And when your iPad is inserted and you have the power supply connected to the wall, the iStudio does charge up your iPad. The iStudio is a great option because you can have it set up in your studio wherever you're going to be doing your recording, leave everything connected to it, and then just slide your iPad in when you want to make music. When you're finished making music, slide the iPad out, take it wherever it needs to go, and you don't have to mess around with all those cables and with accessories hanging off of your iPad. If you're looking for a connectivity solution for your iPad that will allow you to record microphones, line level signals, guitars, virtual instruments, drive MIDI devices, interface with your computer, even display on a television, the iStudio is a very affordable way to do it, and it's a very convenient option as well. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS Update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware accessories, and more tech tips on making music with your iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher.